I come with another video named as I made a project having that type of work. Um, first of all, I made a web.xml file that contains mapping of our URLs to Snarks file with the help of a filter dispatcher. And the welcome file is index.html. So after that, I made an index.html file. Into that file, I made a UI, and that UI contains input box for username, input box for password, input like button for our login button. And on that button, I placed an on click event, calling a function on login click. And into that function, I retrieved or read the values. Of username and password with the help of their IDs. After that, I placed that username and password into an object having a key username and password key, and that object is placed in an array with key data ARR. And that means I made an object of this type. Means we, I will send this type of object with the username password to the action class so after that I made that object I converted that, that object into a string with the help of json.string then I wrote ajax code and then into that ajax code, ajax code I placed my url user auth which I mapped into starts.xml file and method type post and data that is our string this interesting string the content type is the type um, of data we are sending that is application slot and slash json data type is the type in which we will collect our data after success of ajax request so this is the format of ajax after that i made a strust.xml file Into this file, I made a package named default extends JSON default package of starts file starts jar files. And after that, I made an interceptor. That interceptor has interceptor stack. Means this stack will create our my own stack. And into that stack, I made a reference of JSON interceptor with an uh, with parameter. This will make an uh, make my own interceptor stack, and after that, I place that my stack, my interceptor stack into default stack with the help of this line. So after that, I made an action that is the name of my URL passed in the Ajax code, and that is this. This is the class which will be called to hitting this URL by index, and this method will exe will be executed. And the return type of result will be JSON. So after that, I please the I wrote the code of the login or the application class, which is this. In this. I created a field called of, of type list and the list is of type user data class and that class contains our object key values. This is my user data class and this user data class contains the username and password which object and this data ARR is the name of our list which we created as a field so this user data is called as a bean class 
and after that I created a set of getters functions for this field and made a function which is called after the hitting after hitting the user auth uh, after hitting the user auth URL that is this one and this is the math name so after hitting the math name this will execute this lines and this will these lines will print the username and password on the console so here it here the console is this is blank so uh, I run this code after running this code what will I get So when I hit username and here I have my password. When I click this button, this will print the name and uh, username and password. Means the data comes here. Means Data comes from jQuery at X2, X2 class and JSON format. After retrieving data, I just only alert. Just only alert the response. So here this video explains explain to you how we can send data from jQuery Ajax to action class in stores framework. So if you like this video, please like hit the like button and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.